This is referred to as magnetic separation followed by the froth flotation process. Obviously, through froth flotation process, the froth is formed in the top and it can be taken out. Froth flotation method has been in use for removing the gunge from sulphide ores. In this process, a suspension of the powdered ore is made with water. To it, collectors and froth stabilizers are added. You are able to see there is a rotating paddle which will rotate. The pulp of ore and oil and paddle draws in air and stirs the pulp. And you are able to see the mineral froth here. Air is injected through the side of the rotating paddle. This is your froth flotation process. The collectors enhances the non-wettability of the mineral particle and froth stabilizers stabilize the froth. The mineral particle become wet by oil while the ganj particles by water. A rotating paddle agitates the mixture and draws air in it. As a result, a froth is formed which carries the mineral particle. The froth is light and is skimmed off. It is dried for recovery of the O particles. Sometimes it is possible to separate two sulphide O's by adjusting the proportion of oil to water or by using depressants. For example, in case of an ore containing zinc sulphide or lead sulphide, the depressant used is sodium cyanide. It selectively prevents zinc sulphide from coming to the froth but also lead sulphide to come with the froth.